Uh, welcome to this is TML 136. Today I bring you a game of bricks light kit for the um, heavy duty excavator, which is, uh, I forgot the name of it, what that number is. I think it's 42121. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this light kit costs $20 or £20 U uh, British currency. So we, I have um, installed all the lights already on the particular set. So um, instructions are via PDF or you can go on Game and Bricks website and look at the instructions from there. So in your box you get number bags basically tell you what to start off with and you get a battery box which uses AAA batteries you get one user manual it just basically tell you how to look after the lights and stuff like that and all about the different uh, expansion boards and the, the, the um, how to basically attach them to different parts of different lego pieces Uh, it is USB, so if you don't want to use the battery box, you can just use an ordinary um, battery uh, pack, as long as it's USB compatible. So that's about as much as I can show you in the box, because there's nothing left in there. So the inst installation took me about an hour and a half. I'm going to show you the different lights in a minute. There we go. So you've got four of these yellow lights, uh, which use uh, one by one studs, uh, which come with the kit. So you've got four of those. You've got two LEDs at the back here. You've got if this will show up very well. Two blue LEDs down here in between the tracks. You've also got the two here. Oh, two here. Yeah, and you've got I don't know if you'll be able to see this. An LED strip here. And then you've got the flashing beacon light. So in this kit you get where is it uh, five um, little studs, basically for the uh, side of tracks and the uh, thing, but for the flashing beacon you can swap out the flashing beacon one if you don't want to use the in kit one for a nice uh, Lego piece one because these aren't Lego pieces they're just um, basically in how made by game bricks so the wiring now wiring did take me a bit of time to get my head around because the way you have to um let's get these out of the way just turn that off make it a bit easier so the wiring so once you start off, so you put your LED in first, uh, the LED strip in first, run it all the way uh, along here, down, and then it comes basically down to there, through here, then runs into a expansion board under this panel here, which I'm going to show you now my uh, cable management skills aren't the best as this is my first light kit so now there's your variety it disappeared
So here's the expansion board from the inside. Yeah, it looks like spaghetti junction in there. Yeah, I mean, cable management's not the best in the world. So that's how it looks on the inside with the expansion board. Yeah, you do have to do a little bit of the assembling. And then underneath, come back here. And underneath, you got another expansion board. Yeah, the cable, my cable my management's aren't the best in the world. But this is a learning curve for me. Still, all turns like it's meant to do. But with a bit more, bit more um, cable management skills, or from like mine, um, you could make it a little bit more free, but moving. So the USB bit, it's quite long. That just basically plugs into your battery pack if you're using a battery pack, or if you're using the um, one like mine, like that sort of thing. Or if you want to use the one that comes with the kit which then takes AAA batteries, which are the little pencil batteries. Yeah, a bit more time and that, and learn how to cable management. You should be able to make it look even tidier. I'm pretty impressed with the set, especially, um, yeah, it did take me a bit of time to get my head around, um, which was an hour and a half to get it done. But it, I had fun doing it. She taught me a few things. Um, basically, every set should be lit up, to be honest. Makes it look more realistic. And, well, for the price, it's a great place to start off with. So if you just ventured into lights like I am, um, it's a great way to learn how to do it, rather than jumping into a big set, say something like, um, let me think off the top of my head, something like the uh, Libra 9800R uh, excavator. You know, if you was to do that, that would take some time to light up and you don't want to get that wrong. And stuff like that, otherwise you're gonna to have to go right back to the beginning. So simple sets like this, I reckon it's a great way to um, get into lighting up your kits. Um, that's about it on the light kit sort of thing. I do have a discount code, it's um, TML136, gives you 15% off on uh, all light kits, and they do mocks, you name it, they do it from your own mock builds um, to sets, from Technic to speed races, they do it all. So if you use my discount code, TML136, um, I'm going to drop it in the link in the description and yeah I do get a little bit of kickback from it which then helps the channel out um, which then helps to bring more content to the channel and more sets and better sets so yeah TML136 for 15% off off like kits this is TML136 out